Hello my weebs and my weebettes and welcome back to the SAD channel and I've just discovered the most powerful, dangerous, destructive devil fruit of them all. Yeah, you're right, the jacket jacket fruit. Okay, hear me out before you just kind of click off to the, the next anime video. I have evidence to prove why it's the strongest. So, a few chapters back in One Piece, we saw Kid and Law's Awakening. And what did it show about Awakenings? It's that, in basic essence, an Awakening is the complete opposite of what the Devil Fruit can do. So instead of what Kid does, you know, make himself magnetic, he makes Big Mom magnetic. And instead of Law having a giant area of his room, he condenses the room only around one area, but has a better control over you. Okay, you understand? Okay, good. You know where I'm getting from? So, the Jacket Jacket Fruit. What does it do? Yes, it turns the user into a jacket. Seems useless on paper, and it is. But, what is the reverse of turning yourself into a jacket? Yes, turning other people into jackets. Now, what does that entail? Let's say, Cali Funk awakened the Jacket Jacket Fruit. That means, he could turn other people into jackets. So, he can walk up to Shanks, Whitebeard, well, he's dead, so Shanks, Kaido, Big Mom, Blackbeard, any of the Yonko, and just like, hey, you're jacket now, turn them into jacket. Zip, unzip them, put them on, zip them up, put on the hood, boom, you have the power of a Yonko. Then, you can take off the jacket, throw it in the water, don't know what to do after that, go up to an animal, boom, boom, you've got power of Admiral. That's why the Jack Jacket Fruit's unstoppable. Nobody can stop it if it's an Awakened. It's the strongest Devil Fruit. The world government shivers in their boots when they hear Kali Funk Awakens as his Devil Fruit. They're shivering their timbers. Or we'll never know because why would Oda awaken the Jack Jacket Fruit? Outro.